Boys and girls, I'm going to read you a story. It is called The Tennis Carol, Charles Dickens, forward by the John McEnroe Tennis Academy. It goes something like this. Once upon a time, a grumpy tennis pro named Overhead and Easer Scrooge stood on the tennis court on a cold winter's night. He was coaching the current top player, Rob Rackett, who shivered as he practiced because Scrooge refused to let him take a break to get warm. No matter who passed by, Scrooge's family members, spectators, holiday carolers, or even big tennis fans, Scrooge would shout out the same grumpy response. Bah humbug. But later that night, Scrooge was regret his meanness. The ghost of his old competitor, Jake Lob Marley, paid a visit to share his unfortunate story. As a punishment for Jake's bad attitude in life and on the court, his spirit was made to wander the earth, weighted down and tangled up in old tennis nets. Marley warned Scrooge that to escape the same fate, he must be coached by three ghosts during the night. Patrick, All right. take it from here. Okay. Scrooge woke up moments later to see the childlike ghost of tournaments past hovering over him. The ghost took Scrooge on a journey to matches from earlier times. He saw his old friends and remembered how much fun the game used to be. Then the ghost of tournaments present appeared. A majestic giant wearing neon tennis apparel took Scrooge through New York to the US Open courts of Flushing, Queens and unveiled matches happening that year. Scrooge watched his player Rob Rackett with his family and friends excitedly cheering him on as he prepared for his big match. Scrooge saw that Rob Rackett's son, Tiny Tim, was also a gifted tennis player who demonstrated such talent that it inspired Scrooge and warmed his heart. Scrooge found the Rackett family's love of the game uplifting and pleaded with the spirit to stay until the end of Rackett's match, but the spirit refused and returned Scrooge to his bed. And now Lawrence. Thank you. Then, scariest of all, the dark hooded figure of ghost of tournaments yet to come arrived to lead Scrooge to see what could happen in his future if he didn't change his ways. After pleading with the ghost, Scrooge found himself alone and miserable. The spirit pointed to the fact that he had no one there to play with. Scrooge realized that if no one wanted to play with him, tennis would never be fun. He begged the spirit to alter his fate, promising to change his attitude and support the players he coached. John? suddenly found himself safely tucked in his bed. Overwhelmed with joy by the chance to be a better sportsman and grateful that he has returned safely to the present, Scrooge rushed out onto the courts hoping to share his newfound spirit of giving. From that day on, he became much kinder and supportive when he coached Rob Rackett. He gave a shiny new tennis racket to Tiny Tim, and as the years went by, he held true to his promise to help players become the best they can be. Scrooge now personally coaches Tiny Tim, who went on to rank number one in his age group, and his new even greater love for the game inspires players young and old everywhere. The end. Have a great New Year's.